But um, le- I want to jump to the question of the week. Okay. So what's the question of the week, Lisa? Uh, what summer movie are you most excited about? What so, summer movies are going to come out? So, I... so before you guys answer, oh, yeah, we, we, let yeah, me, I'm going to read what we'll, we'll uh, our the online people say. Online people have yes. said. Um, so Gil, Gilbert has said Thor, Love and Thunder, nice. and Lightyear. Uh, Lydia actually said she's not looking forward to any summer movies. It's actually winter. She won, She can't wait for Avatar 2. Nice. Okay. Um, really? Avatar 2? Yeah. There are people actually excited for that. <laughs> there, there is. After 25 years. <laughs> it's not been 25 years. It's a slow years. simmer on that. It, 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 it's a slow burn. Are you it's sure it hasn't burn. been 25 years? I feel like it's been 25 years. It's been 25 years. It's not been 25 years. It's at least 20 years. Has it been 25 years? Probably like 20-ish years. It has not been 25 years. Hold on. Got to look, 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 sorry, got to look to up, Google, guys. To Google, we will go Avatar. That was a 2009 film, so yeah. it's been 13 years. Okay. It's a lot of years. That's still a lot of years. But it's James Cameron. I mean, look at Terminator. Yeah. Well, Terminator his more, more recent work, I think he was involved in Alita Battle Angel, mm-hmm. which was a good movie. He wasn't the director, or was he a director? But he was involved in it. He was like a producer. Uh, I wasn't, I was like, wasn't into the movie like that. I like, like yeah, it. it's okay. Hmm. Like, I mean, visually it was stunning. Visually it was stunning. Um, I mean, so, he was a game changer back in the day with the Terminator stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and aliens. Titanic. Oh my God, aliens. He's Titanic, right? He's Titanic, yeah. he's aliens. Oh, it's Terminator yeah. 2 mm-hmm. um, and, and, and he Terminator 1, I think. Made a submarine to go down to the. The Abyss. The Abyss. Oh, The Abyss was his movie, yeah. Yeah. He, James, oh, was The Abyss his movie? James, yeah, James Cameron is yeah. not to be but He also on. did this documentary. Documentary wait, where he was he, went was down the, and Wait, looked. was that him or was that Because he went him? down. Looked, he designed submarines. Yeah, he went down to go look at the Titanic. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. All that stuff. I remember that. Went down to like the super freaky. Marianas Trench. He wanted to go down into the Marianas Trench. He's like a modern age Jacques Cousteau. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Sabrina. But I'm still surprised that people give a shit about this movie because it's a long ass time that's waited. <laughs> and also, those blue aliens never did anything for me. I was like, mm-hmm. what? It was Pocahontas in space. It was um, Burn Gully meets Pocahontas in space. It was. It was. Mm-hmm. It was the technology. With a little bit of alien story. It was the technology. Mm-hmm. It was the fact that it was in 3D. It, 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 it was the technology that but really it was like, like sold it. When a movie has that much CGI. Mm-hmm. For me, it's like I'm watching a cartoon. That's all it is. Okay, now I'm watching a cartoon. Mm-hmm. And my brain doesn't care as much. Mm. Like with the new Ninja Turtles movies by Michael Bay. Mm. It's like, okay, I'm watching a cartoon. Like, I mean, the first when are those one, coming out? They, they came out. Oh. Wow. So Michael Bay Ninja came out, Turtles There was two, two that came out. Yeah. The first one was fun. The second one was a movie. Mm. In 2016? Yeah. I think they were both movies. Just movies. But one was a fun movie. Oh my god, I did not watch this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it so really um, weird. Megan Fox. Why did they make their faces Fox. like that? It's Megan Fox, right? That actor who played who did the voice of Raphael, mm-hmm. he is he's got he's built such a career for himself, man. Jack Reacher? He's Jack Reacher Jack now. Reacher. He Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. Hawk Word. is on one Titans. of them. Mm-hmm. He was Hawk on on the Titans TV show. Yeah, um, I heard. He, and he was, was in um, Hunger Games. Huh? He, he was looks, in Hunger Games too. He was in Hunger Games. Bro, looks too much like that. Is Raphael in these? Like that uh, lizard from uh, the Mario Brothers <laughs> movie. King Koopa. The Koopa. Like the Koopa. The, whatever the dudes were, they wore the jackets and stuff like that. The Mario Brothers Koopa. movie with. With Bob Hoskins and uh, John. Oh Leguizano. my God, the live yes. action movie. Yeah, like Bob Hoskins movie. and John Leguizamo. That was one of my favorite. Oof. Super weird. Uh, Bomb video horror. game. That was a crossover crazy movie. movies. That was That's crazy. back in that period where Hollywood was like, no, we gotta change this. We can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have colorful pipes and flowers coming out of them. Are you insane? Oh my God. Gotta make was... them all like wearing heavy metal clothes. That was yeah. a very interesting. <laughs> I really movie. like that movie a lot. Yeah. You know what's funny? At the same time as that movie came out, there was a TV show on TV called the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cap- I remember that. With Captain Lou Albano and this other guy. That looked just like the, the actual cartoon. <laughs> so it was weird to have two different versions. At a time when Hollywood didn't really do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think that was made in Hollywood, though. No. I think that was made like New Jersey. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the, the movie? The live action. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And Sabrina says Elvis. Mm-hmm. Mm, that looks good. Okay. I saw the trailer for that. That who's turned the, my head. Who's, the, who's the, the main? Baz Luhrmann. Who's who did Moulin Rouge? It's the guy. It's the director of Moulin Rouge. Okay, but oh, but who is playing? Who's playing Elvis? Just some no-name guy. I see. Or is it, it? Maybe it might be somebody, but the trailer looks gorgeous. Who's this guy? Austin Butler. Oh, Tom Hanks. T. Hanks. T. Hanks is going to be. No, in the Tom movie. Hanks plays the uh, Colonel. Mm. In the movie. Yeah. It looks or, really good. Oh, no, I was just saying that he's in it. Yeah. I, I wasn't saying that he's. That he's the, in the it part. looks amazing. Oh. It looks stylized. I was a big fan of Moulin Rouge. Right. Yeah. I was a big fan of Moulin Rouge. Nice. I, I, I think I liked some girl in college or something, and mm-hmm. she liked it, and then I watched it, and I learned the songs to sing to that girl. It was a long distance something or other, but I fell in love with the songs. Mm. And, and Ewan McGregor, who's in it, um, you know, they, they adapted these songs to fit because it's a mishmash of pop culture songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They adapted them for Ewan's voice because Ewan isn't this like perfect singer. But um, they do a version of Elton John's Your Song in that movie in Moulin Rouge that's just gorgeous and in mm. general. So oh. I was already Obi-Wan Kenobi fan. And then I got to work with Ewan McGregor on the mm. movie The Men Who Stare at Goats. Nice. A no, couple years later. Yeah. Sick. And, and there I am. And it was my first big movie. And I play a waiter in that. Like nine minutes in, you see me talking to Ewan McGregor. George Clooney's there. Um, so I worked with Ewan McGregor and George Clooney for like 12 hours in Puerto Rico. They flew me to Puerto Rico for a week to work in this movie. It was crazy. Oh, wow. And I'm like, bro, Obi-Wan Kenobi, do not call him Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was like, I was telling myself all these things, like, do not do this. You're a massive Star Wars nerd. Do not do this. Do not, don't make a fool of yourself. You're going to be there with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Just play it cool, okay? Play it cool. So we went for our rehearsal day. They had us come a day before to come rehearse in this resort hotel they had booked. Mm-hmm. Bro, this movie is such a... They took control of the whole power grid on this whole block in San Juan, Puerto Rico, of these resort hotels, because from one moment in the scene, they needed the lights to dim. Yeah. And the only way to do it was to take control of the power grid. Oh, God. Two-story lighting rigs, 300 extra, it was crazy. So, and I, that's where I learned, when they say that, it, that a Hollywood budget for a movie is $300 million, mm-hmm. or $50 million, or even $10 million, mm-hmm. how, that's a lot of money. If you yeah. tried to spend $300 million, you yeah. couldn't do it. Yeah. How they do it, and that's how. Like you see, like bro, they took control of the power grid. Yeah. They got three hundred extra. They got two story lighting rigs. They, thirteen hours. We spent twelve, thirteen hours, fourteen hours to get like two minutes worth of footage. Mm-hmm. That sounds familiar. It was that awesome. Sounds, sounds about right. So we were there for the rehearsal day, and I step up with Obi Wan Kenobi, and I say, "Hi there," and I say, uh, "You know, I just want to say I'm I'm a big fan of Moulin Rouge." And he goes, "Oh, that's very kind," because I was like, "Don't say Star Wars." Because that was the period where he hated Star Wars. Oh, no. Wow. After the movies, he was done with Star Wars. He was so tired of people oh. saying Star well, Wars shit well, to him. Well, he came yeah. back. So. Now he loves it. Now he loves it because that money's back, you know, and he oh. didn't have money going on. But those bits, so I, and he was like, oh, that's very kind. I was like, ha ha, brownie point. I did not, I was not a Star Wars nerd. I kept it hidden. Good. Yeah. But then later I embarrassed myself hardcore with him. I did a Star Wars joke to him and he didn't uh, like it. And uh, that's a different story. Right. What else? Well, Spike says Jurassic Park. Nine. <laughs> wow. Are we at nine? <laughs> no, we're at seven. He's being funny. Um, it's called Jurassic World what? Something? Ju- Jurassic Everybody's World Dominion, maybe? Dominion. Everybody's in this one. Yeah. yeah. So Grant is yeah. in it. You know, Professor Grant, the mm-hmm. lady. Mm-hmm. So, but the big sure. question is, is a cartoon paperclip that, that said dinosaur is going to be in <laughs> Whatever it was. The so, dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> we drilled out this amber. <laughs> from a little mosquito. <laughs> I don't remember this. Movie, but I really love the original movie, oh, and I'm so excited to see. I've seen all of them, and I and I definitely. Uh, want I didn't to like see the last one. one. I, you know what? I just I have to watch them. Oh no no! I'm going time. to watch. No no no! I I'm going to watch the recent it. Ones. I stopped watching the recent ones. Okay. I saw the first recent one. Jurassic I hated, World. I hated the ending. Oh, it was right. great. The lady Wait. was so stupid. Mm. Oh, you're talking about the sequel? Should, we should let all the dinosaurs go. The first one. Oh no! The first one. Where the, everything goes crazy at the park. Yeah. I was like, this lady's a dumb bitch. She caused this <laughs> whole problem. She's not a hero anymore. She caused the whole... The redhead, the whole, the redhead the redhead lady. caused yeah, the yeah. whole problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People Bryce Dallas. You damn redhead. People getting eaten again. Yeah. That's why I take Ron the hostage. Ron Howard's That's daughter. That's why I only exclusively take redhead hostage. They always cause trouble. Ron Howard's daughter. Oh, man. So I didn't even no. watch the second one. I really, it's just like, I love the first one so much. 
because I loved dinosaurs growing up. Like mm-hmm. I was a, like all oh, the books, I, yeah. all the books yeah. I could have. You know, any kind of research I was doing, I was just like learning dinosaurs, learn about dinosaurs. I want to be an archaeologist, all this kind of stuff. And the Jurassic Park came out, and I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" I now, I don't know if you know about this, but they've combined two of your two of your favorite things recently. What was that? And there's a show called Dinosaur Trade. What? <laughs> Where they have the dinosaurs on a train. Oh my god! That fun. Uh huh. You never heard of Dinosaur Train? No. Dino. No. Yeah, yeah, your kids are older. This is not even that new anymore. This is like the past 10 years. There's a kid's show on PBS called Dinosaur Train. Oh my goodness. Where they took these two things. They were like, you could see the meeting. Ah, you, uh, can, you can imagine the meeting. Oh my goodness. The executive was like, listen, we need a new hit. I think I've... What do kids like? I <laughs> think, trains and dinosaurs. I think I've well, seen... Like <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, what I, else kids I, like? I Ooh, think I've dinosaurs? seen Riley watching this actually. Yeah. So like, this is like crack cocaine yes. for kids, yeah. this guy's, like crack this, this guy's very kids. familiar yeah. to me. Just, yes, yeah. Raleigh's, Raleigh has watched it That's a little like bit. That's like crack cocaine yeah. for kids. Yeah. Attention. And that, I was paying attention to that. Dinosaur See, I that. didn't like cartoon. Like, I like the dinosaurs. Okay. You know, like uh, Thundercats, that type of feeling. Mm-hmm. You know, so like, you know, Jurassic Park just felt like that. The whole world loved Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, I love. Oh yeah, I love Jurassic Park. And I, I loved, I loved the Lost World. I loved the sequel. I loved the Lost World. I loved it with Jeff Goldblum. That scene with the glasses. Oh yeah, it's great. We all know it. I loved the first two, and then I hated the third one. Okay. With the new... Hold on to your butts. It was so annoying. <laughs> it was so annoying. There's so many good quotes for that movie. The first one I watched so many times, I probably, probably recited. I Steven feel like Spielberg yeah, it was the greatest director, right? It was the, the gas. Like, that was just... I remember being so mad at the little blonde girl. Like, oh. why would you turn on a oh. flashlight? What was that going to do? Oh, so good in so many ways. A decent ride at Universal Studios. Oh, yeah. But... The, I don't know, this Jurassic World thing. I don't get it. It's like an alternate reality now where these well, dinosaurs exist. I liked the Jurassic World. I liked the first one. I thought it was, I was like, oh, great. Now we get to see the park mm-hmm. in tandem. Like, before it was like, oh, this before the park opens. We're going to open it. Oh, There was three original it. Jurassic Park movies, right? There was Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2. Mm-hmm. Which, was, which was Lost World. Lost World, and, and then there was the Park third three. one. Mm-hmm. Where, they, where they brought in Where the they come meet. to America or whatever. Mm, was that no, part two? that was part two. Oh, really? Where mm-hmm. they brought Jeff Goldblum back. Oh, that was part two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, oh, another thing I'm excited about, the new one, that they, that they bring uh, B.D. Wong back. Because well, yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he, he, he was. Jurassic he was like World. the guy. Yeah, he was a bad guy in the first one. He wasn't he a was bad guy. He was just... Jurassic World. He just oh, he was a bad guy in it? They made him like a... You know, a twisty kind of like, oh, they need to get made. Uh, like, like, yeah, like, he was more about like, cost. The, the, at any cost, you know, like, the science. Oh, really? Like, yeah. I didn't pay attention at all. I so, like him, though. He's a little toy. They put a little He's twist so on good in Nora from Queens. Okay. Mm. There's a show, Nora from Queens yeah, yeah, with Aquafina. Yeah. Yes. And, okay, I've heard of it, yeah. And he actually plays her dad, and I did not uh, recognize him. I did not recognize him at all. I was yeah. like, this guy is very funny. Who is this comedic actor? Because this guy is kicking ass in this show. I've seen clips oh, wow. of it. And it's this deadpan, hilarious mm-hmm. Korean dad. And then I look it up. I was like, is that B.D. Wong? Because <laughs> he used to be he's this gay guy. And he's been in like Alexander Mopin's Stare from the Silly City. Always being like kind of like yeah. either I slick. He or, was, and he does such a great And he was in Mr. Robot a little bit too. Yeah. Wait, um, so there was... There's three Jurassic Worlds. Yeah. There was Jurassic World. The first one. The then first there was one. the Fallen Kingdom, uh, I which I did not like. I did not like the Fallen Kingdom one. Why do I feel like? I didn't like this one. I don't get. Well, Did you'd have to. So, what is in, what's the elevator this? pitch for these movies? Can you give me the elevator pitch so I know what the hell's going on with these movies? I don't think I even saw this one. No way. Really? I know the first one that yeah, the, the the theme park has been reopened yes. and there and then Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, Chris, Chris Pratt, Chris Evans? Crispy Rat, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt. He is like your convenient generic dinosaur trainer man, yeah, yeah. who's giving it up because something yeah. he didn't like the way something was being done, yeah. And you better listen to me, otherwise these dinosaurs are gonna start eating people. I'm telling you, yeah. Now get out of here. We want to make money. I tell you what. And Let's finish reading these guys. We need one man. Getting late. Get me, I have to do all this editing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Get me that guy. So we've got a. Uh, Ian, 
King Diego beats Lightyear. Yes. yes. Lucas says Thor. Nice. Tara says Top Gun Maverick, which nice. I never saw the original. Nice. Oh, you gotta watch the original. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. A movie review website says Thor, Love and Thunder. Von Kurt says Lightyear. Cool. The Thor, Love and Thunder. Thor, Love and Thunder. For you? Natalie Portman has earned her place as a Hollywood star. Mm-hmm. She's, she kicked ass in her first debut in, in what do I call it, uh, The Professional. And since mm-hmm. then, she has managed not to go completely insane. True. Uh, and to, to be more or less good in movies, more or less. I mean, I'm not excited. I didn't, I didn't go rush out to watch any of her damn movies, like The Closer or, Closer or whatever other. She's been in a lot of movies, you know. Closer. Yeah, there was this one movie called Closer about relationships. No. Nope. Her that. and Clive Owen and somebody else and somebody else, I don't know, Julia nah. Roberts or some shit. Uh, Whatever. This exactly. She's been in a bunch of movies that we don't watch, right? Well, but we I've been but she's Queen Star, Amidala, man. man. She's Queen Amidala. Mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of her movies. Huh? I've watched a lot of her movies, I've, I feel. And she's pretty good. She's pretty good. And she had that, that funny bit on Saturday Night Live yeah. where she came back and she did the rap about Star Wars. Okay. Was she like, was on Leon the Professional. She was the young girl. Yeah, right, yeah. Young yeah. yeah. I think that was her first credit, right? But I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Mm-hmm. She's powerful. She's earned it. Mm-hmm. She's, and it's it's dovetailing with what's going on in comics because. And she bulked up because she, she wanted up. she like she wanted to make sure that like you know like if she's you know she's coming on as yeah. being like you know having her own power. She wanted to kind of make it realistic. Like. And and it's a character that's been neglected in the MCU. Mm-hmm. They just went bye-bye and they didn't deal with her very much. Yeah, I thought, I thought they were done with her. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. So it's fun on that level. Chris Evans has been... Chris Evans? Chris yes. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Oh, yeah. Hemsworth's been oh, great as Thor okay, throughout. Both Chris's are in there. Taika Waititi has been great. Mm-hmm. Um, it should be good. And Marvel needs to get, come back into power because like Moon Knight, I watched Moon Knight, it was okay. Mm-hmm. Their shows have been okay. They've been pretty good. I've liked most of their shows. I have not watched Moonlight, but I've watched. Um, I enjoyed WandaVision, Thor. I'm sorry, good. I'm sorry, Loki, um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yep. I liked it up until probably like the last episode. It was a little preachy and on the nose. Yep. I was like, ah. I had a friend in uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friend Jane Rambawa, who I did a movie with, Chateau Vato. She's the Filipino uh, lady at the end with the helicopter pilot. When in the last scene, where there's a helicopter that's gonna crash, mm. and then Falcon sends a message to a lady inside, and she like takes over the plane. That's her. If you watch it, that's my friend. She's from uh, South Florida. She's a South Florida actor. I'm gonna go back and put it. And back then back I have back. a friend in WandaVision, Asif Ali, is a hilarious stand-up comic from LA. He played Norm, uh, the co-worker at the office, hmm. where for a second he he breaks Wanda's spell, and he's like, "Where am I? Where's my family?" That guy's my friend too. Oh, nice. But yeah, those shows though they don't they're good, but they're not. And then the movie, The Eternals sucked. Oh, The Eternals was horrible. I, I like The Eternals. Oh. It, it, it didn't add anything. It didn't, it didn't add anything, but I liked it. So they need, Marvel needs to come back with a strong so, uh, thing. Mm. Okay. And what about you? What are you looking forward to? What's the Marvel movie you're looking forward Definitely to? Definitely looking forward to Jurassic World. That's about it, really. Like, Because uh, I'm not going to go see it in the movie theater either. I'm just going to wait till it. What are you expecting from this one? What do you anticipate? I just want to see the... Like, I like a survival theme. The disaster the fact movie. That, like, disaster the movie. fact that they're now amongst us. I, yeah, they're now, not, so they're now, not quarantined. They're I like this us. concept that okay. they're bringing them. They did it before with the, in the, the, third the, one. the first third. Yeah, they brought the, a couple to Second America. one. Second one. Yeah, the but that, but the that dog, was... He drank from the pool. Right, know, but that was like still that. only, like... like Technically, I guess a dinosaur and a baby. A, just a this part. is like full integration. So this is like a lot of animals have been released. Oh yeah, oh, okay. they they Obvious. are in the wild with us. They're in our okay. so like this thing. Like, I just I want it to be entertaining, ideally. Mm-hmm. That's the key, mm-hmm. is the entertainment part. And then uh, I love seeing how people like think up dinosaurs and how the dinosaurs move and I, like how the dinosaurs act and like I I see it from this like kind of like. Not by a lot, by a biologist way, but like, uh, you know, see, I like seeing these, uh, then they're not fictitious. They're like actual animals that existed that yeah. we cannot see anymore. And then they're like brought to life. I, I find that to be very 
magical about it. I feel like it. that's a shift in concept away from just a finite science fiction story about a, a specific event on an isolated island mm -hmm. to a full-on alternate reality, if, yeah. that's what, if that's what you're describing, that like dinosaurs are just everyday normal. Yeah. Well, yeah, and because what happened in The Fallen Kingdom, which was <coughs> the one that just came out, they were let loose. Okay into the mainstream not like let loose on the island like yeah, into yeah. the mainstream okay so, so yeah so it's going to be all turned around so i'm like okay okay okay, okay. we're not a match for like the flying ones or the fast ones so it should be it should be interesting <sighs> very i want to see how they're gonna how we're gonna overcome are we gonna be left with a cliffhanger for the next movie like all oh, the dinosaurs I mean, are here to stay at what you point know, like, does it just become a planet of the ape situation I mean, a man it where it could a, be this one. A planet where man is ruled by dinosaur. New, I love the new Planet of the Apes movies. Those I really like those. All of them. They came yeah. out really good. So I yeah, would I like to see a Planet of the Dinosaurs again. It's just it's unfeasible. Like a, I am legend type situation. Oh yeah. hell no! And you just, are alone in this. I do not want to be living well, in a this planet. This is the thing: is that we would, you know, the nukes and the planes and the bombs and their guns and their tanks and zombie zombie. It's like, remember, what, you know, you, you know how when they have like an anaconda infestation in the Everglades or whatever, yeah, or like iguanas are running there, or like a lot of alligators? Yeah. That's what it would be. Like, you know when there's like a lot of alligators on the news, like, third alligator attack in Plantation, Florida this yeah. week. What the hell's going on with these alligators? Yeah. It'd be like that only every only day. Only yeah. every day. And the alligator, and the, alligator, the alligator would be able to fly. The alligator would be like... 30, 40 feet high. Yeah, um, like Zika, Zika mosquitoes <laughs> like, plus alligators. Yeah, plus yeah, no. COVID, no. everything. Uh, for me, um, oof, let's see. I would have to say, you know what? I'm going to say Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World 3. Um, I, I'm loving Thunder. I know it's already going to be fun, but I'm most interested to see how they're going to wrap up this. Um, and then I guess maybe Nope. I could say Nope. Um, Jordan Peele's latest. Um, it's too scary. Horror social. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, know, you, know, oh, you don't like you don't like this the horror stuff. Yeah. Well, did you, watched, did you watch Get Out? I watched Get Out and it was you, funny. You, you I liked that there us? was a humor element. Mm -hmm. Us? I didn't watch us. I started watch us and it started freaking me out. I was like, I don't want to watch this. Yeah. Okay. Get Out. Yeah. Get Out has that humor undertone. Yeah. Us does not. So you might not like it. I don't want that. I will give me some humor. At least. It's gonna be scary. It's I don't scary. like 